Hi everyone, I'm Manuel and welcome to another episode of Dish It All Out. Today, we're celebrating Mother's Day by making my mom's recipe for seafood paella. So stick around. Alright guys, I want to introduce you to my mom. Uh, she's the best cook that I know and has been a real big inspiration for me about learning about food and cooking. So, go ahead. Hola, me llamo Marbelis. Me encanta la cocina, como pueden notar. <laughs> Vengo cocinando desde que Manuel nació. Hoy les vamos a enseñar nuestra receta de paella de marisco familiar. Paella is a rice dish originally from Spain and the traditional kind is with chicken and rabbit meat, but we like to do a seafood twist to it. So let's dish it all out. All right, so the first step for the paella is actually to make the fish stock. Uh, if you don't get, if you can't get it in the store, highly recommend making it from scratch. So, mommy, vamos a empezar? Sí, como no, tú comienza, no me quieres social. Okay, so I guess I'll get my hands dirty. All right, so for the base of the broth, we usually like to use uh, fish heads. Usually a grouper is kind of our favorite, but they didn't have that in the store today. So we ended up getting quite a, uh, three yellowtail snappers and we're gonna fillet it to use the meat for the actual paella and then the bones and fish head, we're gonna throw it into the stock. And my mom's getting ready to I'm help helping you. Ah, okay. Before we begin filleting, I wanna go over the tools that we're gonna be using. Uh, this is a standard chef knife, really good for a lot of things, but filleting, not so much has not that much bend or flex in it as opposed to a filleting knife. This will be able to hug the bones and get as much meat as possible off of the fish. So I recommend going with this guy. All right. So to start filleting this fish, we want to lift the fins and you want to make an incision right behind the head, right over here. And you're going to feel the bone line all through the side here. So you want to get the tip of the knife and just kind of make a little outline along the back side of the bones here. All the way to the end. Gently. You'll feel it going around there. And you can start putting your finger and separating the meat from the bone. So with one hand, gently peel back the meat and then just kind of scrape along the bones and you'll feel the meat start separating from it. Once you reach the halfway point where the vertebrae is, this is the rib cage. So you're gonna just kind of scrape over and you can separate this. And then the fillets will slowly start coming out together here. And that's one little fillet. And now you just flip the fish and do the same thing on the other side. And now that we filleted both sides, you can see the fish is kind of see-through. So this is good. We got most of the meat off of this and now the rest we're gonna use just for our stock. To separate the skin, from the fish fillet. Grab it right here in the corner and then you want to start at a 45 degree angle and then slowly run your knife parallel to the skin and just kind of glide it along. Nice big movements here and we should get all of this meat fully separated. And then now we just have the skin. Even the fish skin can be used for the stock because we're going to strain everything at the end, so throw it in for a little extra flavor. So now that we've separated our fish bones, well, not only are we going to get the flavors from this, we're going to add that by adding a quarter of an onion. It's okay if it has a peel, we're going to strain that. And two cloves of garlic. No need to mince or dice, just throw it all in. And then we add our water. And now we're going to bring this up to a boil and then simmer it and have it at a low heat for about 30 to 45 minutes. And take a little wine sip. And before we do that, a little bit of salt. Just to help bring out a little bit of flavor. So, 
cover it up and we'll let that simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. And while this cooks, let's prep the seafood. So for our paella, this is the proteins that we've chosen. We have our snapper fillets that we just did. Uh, we've got whole jumbo sized shrimp. They're really pretty, nice for decoration. Uh, we've got our mussels, uh, a few lobster tails, and uh, squid tubes. So let's prepare each one of these. All right, so let's prepare our lobster tails. We're gonna go ahead and just cut it right in half. Just give it a little and break it down the middle. So we have two nice big portions right there. So the lobster has one vein right here that you just have to remove and everything else is fully edible. Except for the shell, of course. So prepare the squid. So let's separate the first layer. Okay, and let's go ahead and slice these in about one inch slices. And then we can stack them. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop here. And transfer. And then for the fish, we're just gonna cut them about in half. Our seafood is prepped. We're gonna give it a light little bit of seasoning of salt and pepper, and then we're going to sear them, and then we'll re-add them to the paella once the rice is going. Give it a nice mix. Ahora que ya Manuel terminó con trabajo más duro, más fuerte, pues yo voy a usar mi tabla favorita y voy a cortarle la cebolla, el ají y por supuesto unos dientecitos de ajo. Cortando las cebollas. Usemos también la mitad de un pimiento rojo. Las semillas no importan, las semillas siempre le da su buen sabor también. Dos dientecitos de ajo. Lo debemos de cortar lo más pequeño que podamos, pero nunca tan pequeño, porque a la hora que tenga su aceite caliente se pueden quemar. Great job, mom. Now let's get to cooking. It's about 30 minutes in and looking pretty good. We're going to strain that in a moment. Uh, but first I want to talk to you about the pan that we're going to be using for the actual paella. This is a paella pan. If you don't have one of these, a good alternative is another uh, shallow pan. This is a Staub cast iron. It's actually pretty good too. But the traditional pans is the paella one. So let's go ahead and start by searing our actual seafood first. Add some good old olive oil. So you're not too worried about fully cooking the shrimp right now. You just want to get some nice color and a nice sear on it. Once you can see that both sides have a nice sear, boom, ready. We can go ahead and actually take them out. If you don't pan fry your shrimp and seafood, you'll never get that caramelization and that nice crust on them. And I think it adds another layer of flavor. Okay, lobster down. You want to place your lobster meat side down first to get a nice little crust on there and then we'll go ahead and flip it and get a little bit on the shell. Remember we're not trying to fully cook the meat here, we just want to give it a nice layer of flavor. Now that our fish stock is ready, we're going to actually strain it with our nice little strainer. And you got these little devices to pick this up because the handles are hot. So let's strain this. And now with the leftover remains, this is actually really good fertilizer. So you can put this into your garden and use it as compost. All right, and the star of the dish today is our rice. We're going to be using arroz de hondo, which translates to round rice, or you can actually use Valencia rice. So it, it is different from the risotto rice, which is alborio. Uh, the alborio rice creates more of a creamy sauce instead of absorbing it all. Uh, this rice will absorb more of the fluid and the liquid 
and it will create more of a dry consistency. So this is what we're looking for for the paella. Bueno, vamos a comenzar preparando el sofrito. Aceite de oliva. Vamos a ponerle la cebolla. Pimientos. Ajices, como lo quieran llamar. Le agregamos el ajo. El ajo muy delicado se puede quemar fácil. Uh, ya se siente mm, el aroma sabroso. Le vamos a incorporar una cucharada de pasta de tomate. Pone un poquito de safran. Ok. Eso le va a dar sabor y color. And a little pinch will go a long way. This is going to help for color and a lots of flavor. Pimiento dulce, which is paprika. But the Spanish uh, varietal is actually sweeter. So it's like a sweet smoked paprika. Ooh. Mmm. Que aroma. Mm -hmm. Le vamos añadiendo el arroz. Muy importante sellar el arroz. Ahora lo vamos a sellar con todos estos sabores. Que el arroz se ponga un poquito translúz. Muy importante de moverlo para sellar todo el arroz. Ok, so first we're going to deglaze it with a little bit of chardonnay, some white wine, and then we'll go ahead with the fish stock. So. Okay, so we're going to be adding our fish stock. Mm, yeah. Que ya le pongamos su líquido, el caldo de pescado, no lo debemos de volver a revolver. Acá les traigo un truquito que podemos hacer cuando no tengamos la hornilla correcta. Como no lo podemos mover de nuevo el arroz, podemos rotar la cazuela. Y esto nos va a ayudar a que el arroz se pueda cocinar todo a la misma vez. Muy importante, esto se cocina destapado, no se tapa. Le podemos ir añadiendo caldo según lo vaya necesitando. No lo queremos muy caldoso. Secreto de la paella que queda cocinadita, pero sobre los sequitos. Después de, de 10 minutos, más o menos fuego medium alto, le vamos a ir incorporando los mariscos. Vamos a adicionarle un poquitito más de agua. Perdón, del caldo. Poner el resto de los mariscos. Garnish with a little bit of snow peas. For the last step of the paella, we're actually going to cover it with aluminum foil. And we're going to let the vapors coming out of there actually finish cooking the rest. And we're going to leave it like that for another 8 minutes. So the baia has been resting and now all we're going to do is prepare the garnish. A little bit of parsley. Let me go grab that. Alright, so we've got our parsley. Uh, we actually have these nice little refrigerator containers. And it's super neat because you can actually open it up, put your herbs in. And there's a little section here that you can fill it up with water. So while you hold it in the fridge, it'll keep your herbs much, much fresher, longer. Yeah, there you go. And if you guys like, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can get one of these as well. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's see what our paella came out like. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. El último toque. Le vamos a poner... Un poquito de perejil que siempre viene muy bien con el marisco. Vamos a ponerle un trizo de olive oil. Okay, and now we're ready for plating. Uh, so first we're going to go ahead and get some of the big shellfish so that everybody gets a piece. Some mussels. Now let's go ahead and in with the rice. Bam. Bueno, mami, para celebrar la paella y qué rico nos quedó, vamos a abrir una botella de cava. Uh, y... ¡Salud! Echa, ¡Ole! ¡Ole! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy Happy it. Happy Mother's Day, yo. Yeah. I hope you guys get to enjoy, spend time with your mothers, have uh, some fun cooking together, and don't forget to tag us whenever you're cooking with your mothers, and just show us and let us know how we can help you out.
Have a good one, guys. Salut. Salut.